Hi. Um, today is May 21st, and this is the 16th or 17th installment of my daily 10 minute video blog for 30 days. Um, it's another late-ish night for me. I have been out all day today. I had actually like a super busy day. Um, I got up early this morning and I went on a nature hike with a couple of photographer friends of mine to photograph moss and mushrooms and little bits of nature uh, like in macro photography. And then I went to the grocery store and then I came home and put all that stuff away and then I went to this um, fundraiser at Texas Beach Skate Park um, that was to raise funds for a ramp that's being built. Not at that park, but that's just where the fundraiser was being held. And I was there for a really long time. I got there at 3. I left at like 8. I was there for 5 hours. And I was just like on my feet um, all day or walking around all day. So it was just kind of like a physically taxing day I guess like my body is so tired I'm so tired I feel like I'm on autopilot right now <laughs> I'm kind of dirty and gross and I really want to take a shower and I have to do my video first so here we are um one interesting thing that came up today and like I honestly don't even know if I have the brain capacity right now to fully flesh out this concept and so like I might even have to come back to this but I was out getting food after the skate park tonight with a couple of friends and they were asking me about like how my dating life was going and I was giving just kind of a rundown of like the last few people that I've like gone out with and I guess like themes of unavailability have come up in some of the guys that I've gone out with or had interest in. Um, and I was talking also about how like all the guys that I like never like me back. Um, and so one of my friends was like, well, why are you putting out that energy? And I was like, what? And she was like, basically, like, why are you putting out the energy that you're unavailable? And she was basically saying that, like, I'm putting out some kind of energy that I'm unavailable, and this is why I'm attracting that. And to be honest that kind of resonates with me because there is a part of me that feels unavailable. And so I was like, I don't know. Why am I doing that? Like, you tell me. Somebody tell me. I don't fucking know. Like, why am I doing that? Why do I feel that way? So that's kind of interesting and something that I need to, like, think more about because I do feel like I do often feel unavailable and a lot of that has to do with time it's about schedule to me to be honest like mm. no it's about more than that a lot of it is about time and schedule I do so many things I'm so fucking busy I say this all the time it's almost become a part of my like persona and it's like a thing that, honestly, it has become a part of my persona because people even like, 
I think other people identify me as being this very busy person who does lots of things. I say it all the time. It's part of my narrative about my own life, but other people say it to me too. People are constantly saying to me, you do so many things. You're, you're always working on so much stuff. You do so much stuff. Like people say this shit to me all the time and I feel that way too. So it's like, it's almost become a part of who I am, a part of my like, identity markers like things about me that like mark who I am to other people how other people like identify me so does that translate as unavailability probably I don't know on one hand it's like I guess you could say that the right person would be like attracted to that because they would think you know they would be like interested in the fact that I do so much stuff or whatever but is there also something about it that's like a little off-putting I don't know um, but also like I think even aside from how other people interpret it like I feel unavailable a lot of the times because I'm so busy and then the other part too is that I feel unavailable in other ways too. Like I think that there's a part of me that like <sighs> against my own best efforts has become a little bit cynical and a little bit jaded. And there's a part of me that sort of feels like I probably won't ever meet someone for real. I'll probably meet lots of someones that aren't for real. And there's a part of me that feels like this idea that I have in my head that maybe I could meet like a person that I commit myself to and live out the rest of my days with, which is a thing that I feel like I want. I feel like that's not a thing that will ever happen for me. And I think that like, maybe I feel unavailable in the sense that I've built my life up around this concept that I don't actually think that this thing that I want will ever happen for me. She was saying stuff like, well, is your bed against the wall? Do you have a nightstand on either side of your bed? And I said, I do actually have a nightstand on, the other side, on either side of my bed. And we laughed about it because I was like, but like, there's a bunch of my shit in both nightstands and uh, we were just kind of like laughing about like the space or the room for somebody or like whatever but like because my nightstands are full of drawers and they're full of things like my sunglasses <laughs> and like my hankies and like just like weird shit that I'm like no I can't that's what lives there but anyways you had to be there but anyway um she was asking me stuff like that and I don't think it's about that. I don't, I don't think it's of like, you know, feng shui kind of energy that I'm putting out of unavailability. I think it's a like, I think it's something deeper. I think it's like a, I have focused so much of my life on all this other shit that I do. And part of that is because I care so much about all this other shit that I do and that is how I see my life. I see my life being made up of all of the things that I do. I see my life being made up of all of my creative projects, really. Like, that to me is my life. My photography, my writing, this sh dumb shit. Like, this is my life. And I think I've... But on, on the other hand, it's like, yeah, I care a lot about that stuff. And, like, I've chosen to make that my life. But, like, am I also building my life up? in this way as almost a like armor against this idea that I have that I will never actually meet someone. Like, do I fill that space with these other things because of this like idea that I have that it's not going to happen anyway? Is that the energy that I'm putting into the world that is potentially resulting in me only attracting unavailable men, only liking men who don't like me back. I don't know. 
it's something to think about. I'm at 10 minutes. I am tired. I desperately need a shower. Thank you for watching. Surf's up.